Hello everyone, welcome back to We Flip Cars. Thanks for tuning in. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. Lovely, let's crack on with today's video. So, we're out in our Audi A3. We're gonna get it validated because we've got a deposit on this car and we need to get it washed, ready for the customer to collect it this evening. We've also got an inquiry come through, a viewing this afternoon on our Ford Fiesta ST. We haven't had it in stock for very long. It's a lovely little car, so we can't wait to get them in, to get them to have a look at that and hopefully get that sold this evening as well. For sure, and we're busy, busy, busy because we've got a part exchange coming in on this auto Audi A3. And we was just discussing, it's very strange how a lot of automatic cars that we sell, we tend to get part exchanges on. Almost every auto car that we've sold, we've always had a part exchange. And it's very strange because manual cars, we don't ever see too many part exchanges. We do get them every now and then, but it's very far, few and far between, isn't it? Certainly not as much as with the autos. We've come up with a bit of a theory. Is it because auto drivers are lazy? Very lazy, like yourself. I am guilty of that, I must <laughs> yeah. say. I don't mind a manual, I love driving a manual, so yeah, maybe that sounds like a, a good theory to me, so we'll go with that one. Lazy drivers, can't be bothered to sell their car, and we take them in part exchange very often. Yeah, but suits us. It does look like it's a nice little car. We'll show you later in this video. But in the meantime, we've got a couple of other little cheapies in stock. If you've watched the channel before, you know that we love our Fiat 500s. We've got a gem of a little low mileage Fiat 500 to show you. And we've also got our... Original Fiat 500 that we're gonna be doing a video on soon. I love this little car and I wanna keep it forever. But Chris wants to sell it, so... Can we'll everyone see. can everyone convince Chris that we shouldn't sell the car because I just want to keep it forever? We will see, we will see. But most importantly, let's get it running. We'll show you a little sneak preview in this video, but probably we'll do a full extended video on that, getting it running, taking it for a little cruise up the high street and see if Liam, at six foot four, has to put his head out of the sunroof. Yeah, yeah, I think I will, you know. I think I'm going to have to, but I'm going to enjoy every second of it and I really can't wait. So. We've actually got our mechanic in tomorrow to give us a hand and try and try and get the car running. We've had to buy a fuel filter, etc. But a full video is going to come out on that soon. I don't want to give away too much because it's really exciting. Um, but yeah, today's video we're going to be showing you a bit more about the sales. So we're going to we're going to hopefully sell a few cards over the course of a week. We're going to be prepping. We've got new stock coming in. As Chris said, more budget stock. A little Hyundai i10, Ford Fiesta. Just some more budget bits so we're gonna be prepping them getting them ready for sale and hopefully getting a few deals over the line so come with us and we'll show you what we do as car dealers see you mate So I've just got to West End Kia's depot. It looks like this is where they prep all of their cars. They've got a spray booth there, mechanic booth there, valeting booth. And it looks like it used to be a former, I don't know, it looks like they were growing stuff. Maybe weed, by the looks of it, on an industrial scale. It's um, yeah, quite a strange place, but you just bring around the part of change for me now I believe it's just turned up there it is so let's get round have a look at it before we pay for it make sure it's always described and yeah we'll get have a look and try and get back ASAP lovely stuff perfect just topping up the oil for us ready to go if I look tired that's because I am look at the time it's not even seven o'clock in the morning the reason we're here so early, one, Liam arranged the delivery from God knows where, and the only time they could deliver the car was half six this morning. Why he did that, I don't know. Second of all, we noticed a couple of little dents on the Range Rover folks. If you haven't seen the previous video on those two Range Rovers, check it out here. Steve, our dent man, he could only do seven o'clock in the morning, but he's got early and he's cracking on. Let's have a look, see how he's getting on. So we've also got the Peugeot that's just turned up. Steve's hard at work. But this one's just been delivered this morning by Movex. We bought this off of dealer auction. And it looks like a lovely little car. It's 2018, done 70,000 miles. 
and Movex, the first time we've used them, mate, and they're quite Really efficient. good service. Kept us updated all the way. Yeah. Check the levels before they set off. I think they even checked them again halfway through the journey. Yeah, they did, mate. They Stopped for a bit, let it cool down, checked it again. They gave me a text this morning about five o'clock to say it'd be about an hour and a half, and obviously I was asleep. But as soon as I woke up about six o'clock, I see it, jumped in the car, come down here, and yeah, they was here. He did say that the, there was a bit of oil in the boot, and he said that he had no problems with the car. There was no, no problems with the oil level, so he said that it was about 75% topped up when he left off. It would come from Nuneaton, Vauxhall main dealer. Um, so I'm going to check the oil and make sure it's at the same level. It might have a tiny oil leak, so if it does, then we'll obviously have to get that attended to and get that sorted. So we're going to do a quick check around this car. We're going to keep our eye on Steve. And we've got a viewing on this this evening, so it's probably going to be another late day today. We've got a viewing on this BMW 420i, 50,000 miles. Why isn't that sold yet, mate? Don't, can't believe I don't know. that's coming around. It looks real value. I, the only thing that I can think that hasn't sold it is because it's manual, but you'd think at 10 grand for a 2015 4 Series with low mileage, especially being petrol, ULEZ and all that stuff, you would have thought it would have sold. But Saturday, we've got a viewing on our Mercedes A45. I believe we've actually got that listed at 2495, so I might need to change the price board on yeah. that one. Um, but yeah, that's actually due an MOT and a service. So obviously I'll explain to the customer that it is due an MOT and a service. It's had new brake discs all round. Ben down at CWC done that for us. That was quite an expensive job. Needs a service, needs an MOT, but we're nice and busy. Nice and busy, positive vibes. Another busy day, let's get them sold, let's do this. And what about this little gem? You know we love our Fiat 500s if you watch the channel. This is a 2013, it's the lounge model, so it's the nice spec, you get the alloy wheels, you get the sunroof. But what's special about this one, mate? 22,000 miles. 22,000 miles, how about that? That's even special for us, and we sell a lot of Fiat 500s. So it's one previous owner, and this has actually come from... A lovely subscriber, Mark from Bromley. Thank you very much for coming down. Sent us an email initially. Got in touch, sent us all the details, photos, exactly how we like it. Um, and then we said, pop down, we'll give you, we gave him a rough price via email. He popped down, we had a look around it, condition, checked, history check, had a chat, agreed a deal, and then now it's here waiting to be validated and advertised. So yeah, I'm really pleased with it. It's really nice. Yeah, I really don't nice. think that'll hang around. I mean, we've got to price that accordingly. I think that. They give a retail on that of £6,000. I think that's a bit strong, but with the mileage well, and... You can't, there's not a lot of them around with that sort of mileage on them, There's is not there? a lot. If you're looking for a low mileage little Fiat 500, first time car. Looking inside, absolutely mint, as you can tell. Chris is happy. What you got there, mate? You can tell it's only done 22,000 miles, can't you, mate? It is immaculate. But look at that for a nice little modification. They've put a Pioneer double din Apple CarPlay radio. They've even left the box in there. And we've got the original stereo. That might come in handy. Well, it might come in handy because I was thinking of taking that out, putting it on eBay, and we could afford a takeaway tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what about this one? <laughs> what about this one for the oldest bullshit car story in the book? Yeah. This is a car dealer's favourite. So she was a doctor. The previous owner was a doctor. Mark did tell us that. His wife was a doctor. So previous lady doctor owner. Yeah. The only way it gets better than that is if she was a vicar. On our auto trade package, which does cost us a fortune, they actually allow us one car for free, priced under two and a half thousand pound. So Ooh, free car. Free car. So we wouldn't normally buy something this cheap, but this has come off a local Ford main dealer that we buy a lot of cars from. It was what would you say, Liam? In with a bit of a package on another couple of cars. Yeah, it was. So it's Haynes Ford in Maidstone. We deal a lot with them and. Yeah, they, they look after us a lot. They send us over everything that they get come through in Park Exchange. And this come through, it's not something that we'd usually sell, but as Chris said, it's something that we could, well, we need to fill that void, don't we? We've got a free advertising opportunity with Autotrader for a vehicle under two and a half grand. 
and that's a lovely bit of stock mate it's it's all right it's high mileage it's done 120,000 miles but it's a 1.4 diesel so yeah they're good news so it's a 1.4 diesel and it's 30 got pound tax full service history yeah good service history and it's a titanium model as well so it's a good spec model it I is think, one that we won't mind selling to be honest i think for someone looking for a little first time car or a little just a little run around it's 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 a cheap reliable little car isn't it yeah we always like to have uh, a little fiesta or a little ka yeah. under the two and a half grand back bracket yeah so we can take advantage of that free advert that auto trader kindly let us have and it's always good to have a, a nice cheap car sitting out the front because we always get people popping in asking if we've got any cheapies about don't we yeah we do we're on this busy road and we get a lot of people popping in as liam said so yeah I don't think that'll hang around. We've got a uh, Ford main dealer, a stone's throw away from us, so we've pretty much always done well out of Fords in Sittingbourne. Sittingbourne do just seem to love a Ford for some reason, so yeah, always like to have a little Fiesta or a little KA, a little cheapy. There she is. We are busy, busy, busy today. Can't get any more cars in if we tried. But this is the Audi A3. Customers just in to collect this one. What a lovely little car this is, 2017 67 Reg, LDA3, 2 litre TDI S, it's done 64,000 miles, it's an automatic, and the bodywork is pretty much unmarked. What an immaculate car, I'm sure he'd be happy with this. There's not a dent on the bodywork, there's not a stone chip, there's not any scuffs on the corners of the bumpers. I think that every single wheel is unmarked. It's got matching Michelin tyres. What a lovely example. This was the little part exchange on the white Audi A3 Auto that we've just sold. As we said earlier, we quite often get automatics part x in when we sell an auto. But what a lovely clean little car this is. 10 years old, it's the 1.5 DCI. These little things are so economical. You only have to drive past the petrol station and you get an extra 100 miles. I think it's free road tax, if it's not free, it's 20 quid. But what a lovely clean little car. All the tyres look brand new. The wheels, they'll probably want to refurb with these diamond cuts. We do normally get them refurbed. But I don't know, does it need that on a 10 year old car? I mean, it is really clean other than that. So maybe we will. It's a nice little model. It's got all the bits on it. Now we gave strong money for this in part exchange because we couldn't believe the recommended retail price on this. We will be selling it below retail. We advertise all our cars below the market value. But let's run a little competition. What do you think this car retails at people? Put it in the comments. And if anyone gets it right, we'll send you a free gift. We'll send you a free Mars bar. But let's have a look inside because there's something special about this car. Well, what we thought was special anyway. Have a look at that mileage. 34,000 miles on a 2014 Little Auto. It's got the sat nav, it's a lovely spec, really clean inside. Pretty much full service history, it's had the cam belt done a year ago. We will give it a quick oil change before it goes out, but it's got a nice long MOT, pretty much ready to go. So get in the comments people, what do you think that car retails at? But it's not all sunshine and flowers. We have got a problem with one of the little cars we bought this week. Liam's in here trying to sort it out. That's why he's looking a bit depressed. What are we saying, mate? I wouldn't go as far as to say depressed, but I've, we've got a problem that we need to sort out. So obviously I drove the Hyundai back from uh, the Kia main dealer and we spoke about it because the gears were just so stiff, trying to get it in gear. And I think that it might need a new gearbox. Yeah, so it did seem to loosen up on the drive home. It was a long drive back, but we've taken it out a couple of times since and it's not going to be good enough, mate, is it? It does no. need sorting. Yeah, so I'm not sure whether to whether it's worth... I've just had a look on eBay. They, the, the gearboxes on them aren't too expensive. About 200 quid for a, for a used gearbox on one of those. Um, but do we... We need to get it looked at. Either we get it fixed or we put it for auction. Do we just do we just trade out of it and i don't know it's a, it's a nice little car and i think there'll be profit in it if it costs us a few hundred quid to get the gearbox done is that the end of the world it's not the end of the world as long as that is the problem and that, that we get the right gearbox to put in it do you know what i mean you always run the risk when buying used mechanical parts whether they're even going to be 100 percent or not anyway 
Yeah, but it might not even be the gearbox. It might just be something wrong with the linkage. Let's get it around to the mechanic. Yeah, we need to get we need to get it looked at because although it is a lovely looking little car and it is a cheap car, we've got it listed at thirty four nine five, and there's profit in it. So we have got money to prep it, and if it needs a new gearbox, then there's still money in it to do that. But well, let's have a look around it and let's make a decision. We'll get it around to the mechanic. Do we just send it to auction? We could do, mate, we could do. I feel like we need to have a look around the car, work out the money on it, see what we're gonna do. Let's go from there, eh? All right. Cheer up. Come then, let's have a look. So it would be a shame just to send it to auction because it is clean. It is a nice little cheap bit of stock for us. We do have people popping their heads in all the time asking us if we've got any cheapies available. Um, we've taken a couple of cheapies in. We'll, we'll show you another one in a minute, but this one, it's lovely, it is nice, but it's just the gears are so stiff. Yeah, but it's worth saving, mate. It's a little Hyundai i10. It's probably 30 pound tax. It's a five door, it's in the right color. But what's it gonna cost realistically with parts and labor? Well, even if it costs a few hundred quid, it's definitely worth saving. We're gonna send it to auction. We'll it's be lucky to get our money back on it. It's gonna cost more than a few hundred quid though. Well, when I was driving it back, honestly, I was thinking, because of how stiff that, that, that gear knob is, I don't know if it's a gearbox or not. We need to get it looked at, don't we? We need to, we need to get, get it down to Ben at Let CWC and, and get him to diagnose it. But I'm thinking, when I was driving it back, worst case scenario, I'm thinking this needs a new gearbox. It's gonna cost thousands. Nah, I think you're being a bit hasty. Let's, uh, let's see if we can rescue it. I don't want to get up, give up on it yet. Let's get it round to the mechanic. Let's get it diagnosed. Because it is clean. Look how clean it is. I'm not too keen on the Smurf interior. <laughs> I think it suits it. <laughs> no, I don't know it looks that. all right. Mate, I think that'd be a good little car. You know that these are reliable, so once that gearbox is fixed, it's definitely worth rescuing, mate. All right. All let's right, get well. it round to him. Let's get it diagnosed. Okay, let's do it. That's the end of another little video. Thanks everyone for watching. We have had a really busy week. We sold the black BMW 4 Series. We also sold the Ford Fiesta ST. And we sold the white Audi A3. Also bought a few along the way and took in a couple of part exchanges. We did have someone on the Mercedes A45. But he went missing, God knows where. Apparently his car broke down, but probably another bullshit story. So I'm gonna take the car out myself for the weekend, have a bit of fun in it. I'll see you all later on. I'll see you Monday, mate. So thanks all for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and it shows your appreciation. We'll see you soon in the next one.